So welcome back guys. Today I'm out here at the chicken coop and we have got a pretty serious problem that we're gonna have to deal with. Unfortunately, the title of this video is not clickbait. The other day I came out here, my son and I were out in the yard and we came out here and nine of the 10 chickens were cowering inside of the coop and one of the 10 chickens was out here and it looked like he had basically, she had basically stepped on a landmine. Here's some of the, here's some of the remnants right there. I had been hearing hawks for a couple of days before this happened. So I'm pretty confident that a hawk is what got her. I didn't see it happen, but I'm pretty sure that that's probably what happened. And it really shouldn't be too much of a surprise to me. This area out here is open and it was probably just a matter of time, but I'm gonna take this opportunity to protect and greatly improve the chicken run here. It's definitely a bummer for the chicken that didn't make it, but this is providing me a pretty good opportunity to improve things. We've got 15 chickens coming in uh, in a few weeks now, and we're eventually gonna have to have a whole lot more space for 15 more chickens out here. So here's what we're gonna do. I've got some netting that's coming in. It's on the way that I ordered from a company, I think in Missouri, and we're gonna put netting over the entire thing as protection from hawks, but today, before that comes in, we're gonna take this fence for fencing right here. If you see this fence post I've got my finger kinda on, that's the end of the fence. We're gonna expand it to right out here. And that's gonna give them a whole lot more space to run around, lots of space for extra chickens. And it's also gonna give them the option to go up under the chicken house, which could have possibly prevented this tragedy in the first place. So let's get started with moving the fence. And here in a couple of days, we'll see if we can get some netting up. I'll start over here on this side. When I put together this house in the first place I didn't really do anything fancy over here I just kind of wedged the wedged the wire here the fencing here between the trim and the house it worked pretty good I've got to take this hoodie off because it's getting hot, but I wanted to let y'all know that we do have this design and others available in hoodie, hoodies and other things on spring. I'll leave a link in the comments and in the description. Still no good. <clears throat> The stuff I'm dealing with here is red mud and when it's dry, it's hard as a rock. And when it's wet like this, 
it's difficult to work with too it just basically turns into clay which that's what it is but it's just pretty much mud it doesn't pack very well doesn't dig very well it digs easy but it sticks to your post hole diggers it's tough stuff that's pretty straight Big shout out to my dad for this wire. He had a chicken coop a chicken and a chicken run that he wasn't using anymore. And he figured it'd be a much better trade if he just gave me this wire and got eggs. And I thought it was a good trade too. So that worked out. I'll check this out. I found this over there when I was digging for that post hole. Some kind of a toy bird wing. I guess this is one of my toys when I was little. That's interesting, isn't it? I'm not going to bore y'all by showing redoing all the stuff we did on the other side to get the fence and all of that stuff taken loose but i wanted to show y'all this is where we're going to put the fence post here and i've got the water and the electric located that go out here to the chicken coop the water is right here so we're looking at maybe eight inches or so of clearance i think we're going to clear that by two to four inches something like that which is a little bit too close for comfort but it'll do the electric line is a good way away for this first post we're gonna have to put a second post over here for the gate to latch on to it's gonna be a little closer there but i think we're gonna clear it either way so it's very very close right in here it's kind of like tangled christmas lights but i think we're gonna be good Not too proud to say that when this came out of the ground and slapped me on the leg I, my first thought was that it was the electric line
I just propped that gate up right there where I was planning on putting it, but I just, I just really don't like the way it looks. So I'm going to put it back where it was and just kind of wrap fence around the post, just like I did over there. I think it's going to look a lot better. I decided to let them out. I've only got one little piece of wire to put up, so I decided to let them out while I did that, and they are just hustling out. It's been several days since they've been out. No, there's another one. She can't figure out how to get off the roost. Goofy chicken. Well guys, that was some very, very good progress and it appears to me that the chickens are having a pretty good time. Uh, they seem to be liking it up under the chicken house. There are some inside, but there are some up under there and I predict that that'll be a really popular spot during the summertime when it gets hot. So uh, basically what we did there is it was, I think something like 440 square feet of outside room and we took that and expanded it to over 600 square feet of outside room so that's lots and lots of room for these chickens and it's going to be really handy when the 15 new ones come in once they grow up and can wander out here uh, that's going to be a lot of extra space for them so that's really good I still need to do something with that post over there. That post is it's being pulled up just a little bit, pulled over a little bit by the wire. So I got to shim that or brace it. I'll probably just brace it. But the next step here is to put some netting up. And the netting probably won't be here till Thursday. I'm hopeful for it to be here tomorrow. But once it gets here, we'll put that up and uh, the chickens can have their, have their yard back. So yeah, um, we'll just wait for that. This is the package that I've been waiting on here and I've uh, really kind of been taking a pretty large risk over the last few days. I've left the chickens out uh, kind of exposed, but thankfully they're all still alive. The nine that are left at least. So let's see what we've got here. So again, this is a net basically from Pen and Hatch Farms. It's a company out in Missouri that makes these things. And uh, first impressions, it's looking pretty nice. It's looking pretty nice. It seems to be pretty well put together. Let's get a little close up here. And this is not a paid promotion, by the way. I paid for this with my own money, but I do want to highlight it if it's a good product. And I guess even if it was a bad product, but these are knotted. This is the two inch stuff. If I can get it in the frame, there we go. And these are knotted right here, put together with knots. Uh, the rope is nice, heavy rope. Y'all can see it in comparison to my fingers there. Uh, but this looks like really nice stuff. So so uh, I've got some pretty high hopes for this stuff. There's the company there. If y'all are interested in checking them out, if y'all need any of this stuff, uh, it even came with a little calendar here, a 2023 calendar. So it looks like they pretty well thought of everything. I'm not 100% sure what to expect here. I'm hoping it's not like unraveling Christmas lights.
I shopped around just a little bit before I bought this and I saw reviews on similar products and one of the biggest complaints was that it was like untangling Christmas lights or even worse. Some people even threatened to throw them in the trash can before they got it unwound because it was just a huge mess. It got caught in every little thing. But I'll have to say this is coming apart really easily. It was packed really, really well and again this is not a paid promotion but it's a quality product, so I want people to know about it. It seems to be a really nice product. So, so far, so good. Of course, it is getting tangled a little bit in stuff that's on the ground, but you can kind of expect that. So, uh, overall, so far, I'm really, really impressed with this stuff. Let's see if we can get it on these posts. So, I really haven't settled how to connect these things to these posts. I've had some ideas, but I'm just going to kind of play it by ear, I think. But naturally, <clears throat> just kind of by what it is, it's going to get hung up on something, but overall it's been really easy so far i mean this is a stump right here <laughs> i don't know what i expected At this point, we need to try to get this around the chicken coop itself. And I bought a, uh, a netting that was about 50 feet long and this chicken coop yard is about 40 feet long or so. So we're gonna have uh, a little bit of extra there, but we also have to figure out how to get it around the coop. And I contacted Pen and Hatch Farms and uh, they assured me that I could actually cut this stuff and that would not undermine the integrity of it. It wouldn't unravel or anything like that. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna split it kind of down the middle and uh, probably gonna have to do uh, perpendicular cuts to that middle coop cut as well and then we'll get it around this coop here and kind of hang it on the top sides of the coop and let it go down at an angle to the tops of the fence posts over on the left and right sides of the coop. So really all I've done here is found the midpoint of this netting and I'm just gonna go straight down these diamonds here just to keep it in a straight line. My best bet probably would have been to have laid this whole thing out and uh, measured it and done it that way in the yard first but it's not what I did. At this point, I've got it all anchored to the back of the chicken coop here, and I really need a couple of things, uh, supports in the middle out here to get the net a little bit higher or a good bit higher. I wanna be able to walk around in here too, but this has been, this has really been an adventure. This is not something I've ever done before, so I've just been kind of trying to figure it out as I go along here, and uh, it's, <laughs> it's been kind of tough. And it's not the quality of the material. This is some really well put together stuff. They were right, I was able to cut it, and it doesn't unravel or anything it's actually really well put together the problem is i've never done this before and also cutting it out for around the chicken coop proved to be a huge huge headache it was you have to cut it and figure out what to attach to the house and then i don't know it was very difficult for me to wrap my head around and a lot of trial and error went into this so let's go ahead and find uh, i'm gonna use a couple of cedar trees i think to put in the middle out here to get this netting off the ground a little bit and also i would really recommend that if you try to do this put your chickens up first because the chickens of course tend to get up under the net and then they get into a really cramped spot and you walk up and they panic and they get their necks hung in it and i'm thankful none of my chickens broke a neck doing that so if you need to do this make sure your chickens are put up
looks like a good one right here. This one's got little limbs on it. So I was hoping to get one of the limbs on it like this so they could use it for roosts if they so choose. These little hooks didn't work out like I thought they would. I am really happy to call this project complete. That was, <laughs> that took most all of the day to do that. And it was not because this stuff is junk. This is really good stuff. This was just a, it's a very complicated and tedious and fiddly project, but let's test it out. I've got a, um, I don't really know what hawks weigh, but let's just try this. This is about 28 ounces and so not quite a quart of just standard SAE 30 motor oil. So let's see how good of a job it does protecting my chickens against motor oil. Okay, so maybe that's not the most accurate test. Google tells me that a red-tailed hawk is about three pounds or so, and it can dive at 120 miles an hour, but I'm still pretty confident that this thing can pretty well stop that without too much trouble. So I put this board up here uh, just to kind of get the pressure off of those, the tops of those posts, those pieces of that cedar tree. Uh, I was afraid that there was just way too much pressure on two little points up there, so I decided to distribute it across a, um, I don't know, that's probably 10 feet or something like that maybe eight or ten feet so I figured that would just be a whole lot better and result in a lot more longevity for the net so that's why that was my reasoning on doing that that's a cedar board up there too so it should be okay for a while well guys that is going to do it for this video I really appreciate you watching a big shout out to Pen and Hatch Farms they did not sponsor this video I ordered this with my own money but it's a good quality product and I don't mind calling out a good product when I see it I believe they're made out in Missouri but if you need anything like this or fencing or incubators wing tags anything like that they've got all kinds of cool chicken stuff and I'll put a link to their website in the description of this video uh, I think this is going to go a long way of keeping my chickens protected against hawks one concern that I do have is there's kind of a hole right here it's not exactly a hole from straight 
up like a hawk would come from, but there is a hole here. Um, that was just a result of not leaving enough on this side to close this up. Uh, I'm, hoping it's, I'm hoping it's not gonna be an issue. And if it is, I'll just close it up. Um, also have quite a bit left over down the sides of the, um, of the fence on this side. It's almost like a skirt over here. So I'm gonna sleep on what I wanna do with that. If I wanna cut it off or bunch it up and leave it, I don't necessarily wanna chop it all off and have just this chopped up unit but i may just have to do that because it's probably its final resting place anyway so i don't know i'll sleep on that uh, we'll see what happens but that's going to do it for this video i appreciate y'all watching and i will see y'all on the next one